Good morning to you. And a very happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. That's P A D D Y, by the way, not P A T T Y. Oh, yeah, St. Paddy's. Yeah. Not Patty, Paddy's. Which is, you know, pretty interesting because it's St. Patrick who's like started it all and it has a T in it. But like, yeah, no, I, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Uh, so, John, I noticed that we have a rainbow in front of us. What's the reason for that? Well, Colin, I'm glad you asked. I'm trying to catch a leprechaun at the end of the rainbow. But, John, leprechauns aren't real. And rainbows technically don't have an end, they're circular. Colin, when have you ever seen a circular rainbow? Whatever, I'm not going to fight about this. Uh, but leprechauns definitely are not real. <gasps> oh! See? I told you they were real. Oh, no one can touch me lucky charms! Oh, that's my <laughs> I promise we won't touch your lucky charms, Mr. Leprechaun mm. Dude. Well, if you don't want me charms, then what do you want? I was just going to say gold, but I feel like honestly seeing you is enough for me. I knew I should not have pulled that all-nighter. I'm seeing things. Well, Mr. Leprechaun, I'm glad you could join us. But now, it's time for news. <laughs> oh, sure, there's definitely more important news than a real-life leprechaun in front of you. An Oswego couple has been charged with the death of their 17-year-old son with cerebral palsy. Police were called to a home in Palermo on May 9, 2021, and found the 17-year-old unresponsive. He appeared to be extremely underweight and had bed sores all over his body. Wednesday, the boy's mother and stepfather, Lisa and Anthony Waldron, were arrested. Both were charged with second-degree manslaughter, criminally neglig neg negligent homicide, and first-degree endangering welfare of a physically disabled person. Members of the University of the Southwest golf teams were killed in a tragic car accident this Tuesday night in, in Midland, Texas. They were on their way home from a tournament when their van was hit head-on by a pickup truck, killing both passengers of the truck and seven passengers in the golf team's van, including the coach for a total of nine casual casualties. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The morning weight room will be closed Friday, March 18th. It will be open after school. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. National Honor Society candidate. <coughs> wow. Membership applications are now available in B4. Please see Mr. Mussolino as soon as possible. If interested, all applications must be returned to Mr. Mussolino by Friday, April 1st. Boys across varsity and JV tryouts are just days away. Monday's tryouts are 6 to 8 p.m. outside on the high school turf. Dress accordingly. Equipment distribution in the high school basement locker room at 5.30. It's not too late to sign up. You must register on Family ID to participate. Okay, well that was... Amazing. I was going to say strange, but yeah, sure. Hey, Colin, did you know that the first leprechauns, like the first recorded tales of leprechauns, were in 8th century Ireland? They were said to be water spirits who uh, <coughs> merged with fairies to create the heavy drinking, tiny green, lucky charms loving leprechauns we know and love today. The Irish are known for storytelling and have some of the most interesting tall tales in the world. Which is where most stories of like fairies, unicorns, goblins, dwarfs, and leprechauns come from. The story of St. Patrick's Day started in Ireland in honor of St. Patrick, who is said to have driven all of the snakes out of Ireland in the late 4th century. Well, that is... The most well-known tale, most people don't know that St. Patrick was actually British and was kidnapped by the Irish at the age of 16 and sold into slavery. He eventually escaped, only later returned to Ireland, for some reason, and set up many monasteries, churches, and schools. Because of his fame, many of these tales developed around him, including the tale of the snakes and the tale of St. Patrick using a shamrock to explain the Trinity. But more facts on St. Paddy's Day, after weather. As you can see on the map behind me, there's not really anything going on. That's because today is going to be a very nice day with a high of 67 and a low of 44 degrees.
I'm sure that many of you know that last week was the St. Patty's Day Parade in the city of Syracuse. But it wasn't just here. St. Patrick's Day is actually celebrated all over the world, from the U.S. and Ireland, all the way to Argentina, Germany, and even all the way to Russia. The first parade was actually held in Boston in 1773, followed by, those are some pictures of us marching in the parade, um, followed by New York City in 1776. The city of Chicago, however, holds the biggest parade every year with around two million plus spectators. Chicago is also well known for dyeing the Chicago River bright green every single year. And speaking of the parades like you saw in those pictures, Colin and I for the past seven or so years have actually marched in the Syracuse Parade with our grandpa and the AOH, aka the Ancient Order of Hibernians. That's the Chicago River there, by the way. Uh, the AOH is basically just a whole bunch of Catholic Irishmen that hang out. Uh, yeah, more or less, yeah, pretty much. Also, John, you've done some Celtic sports, right? Yeah, I did things like we do like caber toss, archery, axe throwing, stone throwing, all sorts of all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. Well, speaking of sports, I wonder how our school sports are doing. Yeah, me too. How about we head over to sports and uh, see what Ellie has to say? bowling teams have a match at Cortland at 3.30. Attention softball players, next week tryouts or practices will be at the school, the sports yard every day. There will be shuttles from the high school for, to practice, but you need to get a ride home from the sports yard. Shuttles Monday and Friday will leave the high school at 3.30. Shuttles Tuesday through Thursday will leave the high school at 4.10. Catch the bus at the entrance to the small gym area. And make sure you check out the Descendants at the Middle School. It is tonight, Friday, and Saturday. And I'm Ellie with your sports. You know, for all those years that they dye the Chicago River green, you think they could dye it blue? It's kind of it's kind of brown sometimes. Yeah, you got a point there. So, as I'm sure you guys could tell, me and Colin have some pretty deep Irish roots. Deeper roots than Lucky Charms? I mean, I'd like to think so, yeah. Cool. Well, I hope everyone maybe learned a little something about St. Patty's Day. And if you didn't, that's okay too. On that note, we wish everyone the happiest of St. Patrick's Day and look forward to tomorrow's show which celebrates Holy. Oh, you think you're all big and bad because you're so much taller than me, huh? Well, I'll have you know I've got some magic right there.